everyone and welcome back to Northern Tool and Equipment Tools for the Trades Rat Rod Go-Kart Build-Off Month 2. My name is Dylan McCool. I'm a YouTube content creator and I'm a restorer of cars, trucks, and well, plenty of junk. And I'm your host for this journey. Now, if you're just joining us, let's go ahead and recap. Northern Tool invited two Minnesota high schools to step into the ring for a first of its kind Rat Rod Go-Kart Build-Off, Lakeville North and Minneapolis Public Schools. The build-off is actually part of their CTE program curriculum this school year, and to pass the class, the students have to deliver a running, driving rat rod go-kart at the end of the school year. Luckily, these teams have brand new North Star 740cc EFI engines from Northern Tool, plus the support of celebrity mentors Richard Petty and Billy Lane to get the job done. Now in our first monthly update, we got to see the school's initial reactions upon receiving their engines. Let's check in and see what these schools have been up to since. Well, right now we're working on this rat rod go-kart build um, with Tools for the Trades, Northern Tool Equipment sponsoring us. Um, we're in a big time design development fabrication phase, like brainstorming, you know, so I tell the students, there's no bad idea. More ideas, the better. So what we got going behind me right now is was one of three chassis the students are working on. And like I tell them, there's no wrong answer. You know, we make a mistake, we learn from it, we'll adapt, we'll do another, another version and keep going until we're successful. So what's awesome about what you're seeing here is this is a group of students who are doing all the work. You know, I'm here to facilitate. I, I oversee to make sure things are done safely. And if I see something, I have to step in. But for the most part, I stay back. I let them do their thing. And that's what's cool. You see their excitement. You know, you got a group of seven, eight kids just nonstop, you know, throwing ideas off each other. They're cutting, they're welding, they're building. And for me as a teacher, you know, it's a win-win because it makes it easy. You know, I just take, I, I actually have to tell them to get back in the room so I can get attendance. They come running in here, they want to work on it immediately. And it's like, to see that kind of enthusiasm in a project as a high school class, I mean, that's a win-win for, for everybody. You know, they're learning tools, they're learning fabrication, they're learning engineering, they're, they're getting um, all this nice stuff that Northern Tool donated to us, they're putting in their use, and they're, they're learning real-world skills that are gonna make them successful. The good parts about this student-led project, uh, all focusing on one, has been seeing the collaboration that comes from multiple ideas in the room. So one student might piggyback off of another student and you know, now we've designed something that no one thought of originally. Um, so the collaboration has really been amazing. I think the biggest challenge is going to be staying focused. Like we're, I'm just as bad as them and it's like you'll get hyper focused on one area or you'll get let off on some crazy idea about just this one certain aspect of the build and we find ourselves kind of just trying to rein it in and like uh, keep everybody focused on let's make a running you know rat rod go-kart before we do some of these crazy other ideas. Well, we're going to get our axle soon, so we'll be learning how to mount that, and we're going to be we're going to be mounting that, getting new tires, hopefully, tires for the front and back, figuring all that out, move the North Star engine, and flare out the back of this, hopefully to put it in a gas tank, just kind of look at these things and say, can you know, will this work? Can we do this, or do we have to do something else? So over the last 30 days, as we received the North Star engine and we've been thinking about our project, one of the biggest challenges in planning our chassis and where we're putting our engine has been which way we're gonna face our engine. Uh, working on the next 30 days, we're gonna be working on uh, probably mounting the axle and figuring out how the clutch drive is gonna work, um, figuring out the front suspension, how we're gonna get the upper and lower control arms mounted and steering. And I think the biggest thing is kind of sizing everything, making sure everything is probably big enough, but not making it super big. So there's, it's a little rough here, but this is the structuring for what we're gonna put onto our chassis. We were looking more so to do like a pickup truck type feel. Um, and we're using like a wheelbarrow that we've extended so that we're gonna have somebody, whoever's driving say, sitting here, Richard Petty. Um, so we extended that to make the length obviously more fit for a six foot tall person. Um, and then otherwise, yeah, that's pretty much all we have done so far. So the mentors are gonna become a huge help, not only have they, but they're going to in the next uh, stage here because like Richard Petty is, and his engineers know how, car, how to design cars to handle these racetracks, uh, which we've never built anything like that before. So we're gonna put a lot of weight into what he says. Uh, Billy Lane has already given us a ton of great uh, information on how to create a strong chassis, maybe where to reinforce things, how to run the chain along 
uh, section of frame rather than separate so it, it can take the torque. Um, so we're going to continue to have questions like that, the ones that I don't even think of yet because we're not at that stage. Um, and their input is going to be huge to our success in, the, in this car. Yeah, you know, a lot of the engineering aspects of this, you know, and I know Richard has the race background and Billy's got a lot of that engineering with some of the bikes he's built. So there's going to be things when we get to the, you know, the steering and the camber and all the, the gear ratios and what we need for sprockets and driveline, that's going to be a huge part that we actually ask our mentors and say, hey, you know, we don't know this stuff. What, what would you recommend and how can we implement that and make sure we do it right? So again, we want safety to be number one. We want functionality to be number two because if it goes slow but it's safe, that's great. If it goes fast and hurts somebody, that's not good. So we want to make sure safety is number one, get it to be as cool and fast as we can and just make sure that it's a win-win all the way around. Uh, the Petty Garage team is going to be super helpful just because they do have every type of technician and automotive ideal that you could think of. They can really, we can bounce almost any question off of them and specifically with the suspension, the suspension, they're going to really help us with that and even in the rear axle with gearing ratios and power to weight balance ratios and all that, like we can really work on it and I think they'll be a really good resource to reach out to. Another question we just kind of thought of is, do you think we should keep it patina, like a rat rod, or maybe paint it? I think the patina thing would be really cool. Again, you know, I think, you know, I think what's going to happen is, you know, when you get done with something like this, plan on needing two more weeks to really be done. I know that's the way I've been doing this, you know, three and a half decades. And when something looks done in my shop, it usually needs two more weeks plus. So... Uh, you know, time is going to be a big consideration for you. you guys have a lot of work ahead of you. And uh, I would just say that you want to, the patina is going to buy you a lot of time. <laughs> you know, like, like whenever I, I have to paint something and, and chrome it and make it really nice, it just takes so much more time when if I'm doing something that I'm going to age or li leave looking old. So that, I, I would, if, if, if I was sitting in your seat, I would plan on the patina thing. And if the time allows, hey, wow, I'm done really early. Maybe I want to paint this. I think it would look a lot better painted. But I think the patina and the aging and the welds, exposed welds and that type of thing, exposed construction, will really, really add a lot of character to what you're doing. All right, thank you. Thanks for joining me to see the progress these schools have made and how they've come together to solve challenges as a team. I'm Dylan McCool, and I'll see you back here for the next monthly update. I can hardly wait. And we need you to get involved, though. Share this video. You might inspire a student to take a shop class or explore some kind of skilled trade. Also, please subscribe to the Northern Tool YouTube channel so you never miss another update.